Good Sunday morning. We are going to do a revisit on some caramel that is really quick to make in the microwave. It's called Six Minute Caramel. Um, it's not my recipe. I'll link it to the bottom. But it's super easy, super quick. So you're going to start off with, you need a quarter cup of butter. And you do not want to double this recipe, okay? You want to do it one at a time at the six minutes because it really kind of messes up the microwave times and stuff like that and the consistency of the caramel. So we're just going to throw in a quarter cup into a microwave safe bowl of butter. Then we are going to put in a half a cup. And this is a full cup, but I lost my half cup. So this is kind of a guesstimate. Half a cup of white sugar. Do... Hang on, I'm more prepared. Half a cup of brown sugar. Half a cup there. We are going to do half a cup of caro syrup. You can use dark or light, depending on how dark you want your caramel. So you just pour that into the measuring cup. And I'm going to leave that at a half a cup because then I need half a cup of sweetened condensed milk right here. And I'm just going to pour that on top of the caro syrup to the one cup mark. And each one of these has one cup. So you can do two batches of caramels out of one can of those. Whoops. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour all of this into the microwave safe bowl. Get it all out of there. I'm also going to put in one quarter teaspoon of salt. So just a little bit of salt. We're almost at a quarter teaspoon right there. Oops, I'm not quite big enough here. That's an eighth. Quarter teaspoon of salt. And then you can also put in vanilla extract. Hang on. You can really put in any kind of extract if you want to flavor it up, like a coconut caramel or an almond caramel or, or whatever. Mine, I'm not going to put any vanilla or anything in it. It's going to be straight caramel. And I'm going to put this in the microwave, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for two minutes at a time. Okay, so two minutes, take it out and stir it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it's been two minutes, and it just looks like this. You're just going to now incorporate the butter, the brown sugar, the sugar, corn syrup, and the sweetened condensed milk all together. I'm going to stir it together really super good. Make sure the butter is all melted. Now we're going to put it back in the microwave again for another two minutes. I want you need to get you can get a glass pan and you can spray it really good with nonstick spray. Um, I'm using a silicone mold on this one that has individual areas, so when I do pop it out, it'll be easier to cut it and wrap it in um, wax paper. If that's what you choose to do. Um, I spray the silicone also. Because uh, this stuff is a soft caramel, it's not a hard, crunchy caramel, or real, real thick. Um, and you can actually add more time on in the microwave if you want it a little bit harder, um, but only do that like at a minute at a time. So, anyway, make sure you spray this really good. Okay, this is after four minutes. It's starting to bubble and cream. Again, you want to stir it up really good. Uh, make sure if there's any brown sugar in there that hasn't broken up, break it up real good. Stir it again because you want it to have kind of a smooth consistency. So I'm smoothing it out. Stir, stir, stir. So now I'm going to put it in for another two minutes. That's the full six minutes that you're going to have for this caramel. This is the color that you want it to be. All right, here we are after six minutes. It's bubbling up really nice. It smells amazing. You want to scrape it and stir it to the side, and then you're going to pour it into your glass dish. I might actually do this for a more minute. Now, this may appear darker if you use a dark brown sugar. I used a light brown sugar, um, so don't worry about that. So, we're going to do this. Alright, here we go. It's just a little darker this time. It's a little bit thicker. And that's just so when I put it in the molds, it pops out easier. And when I go to cut them, they cut easier. So, I'm going to stick them in these molds. And again, I'll attach the recipe for you. And then we're going to put them in the fridge, and they need to cool all the way. And of course, the thicker you make them, the longer it's going to take for it to cool. And I will show you what one of my batches kind of looks like that we've been snacking on. So hang on. 
So I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it cool for quite a while. This is one of the batches I've made. And see, it's, it's, it's pretty thick. And if you leave it out of the fridge, it softens up quite a bit. So you do want to store it in the fridge. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And then you just cut it off in pieces and you wrap it up in wax paper. And you're good to go. Or you can be like us and just snack on it in the fridge. This is ours for our house. Um, so anyway, um, this is six minute caramel. If you want it a little bit firmer, I would do it for seven and stir it. If you want a little bit firmer, maybe seven and a half or eight. Um, but that's it. You guys have a great day.